Hello! Greetings! Greetings everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Uh, just bear me just a moment. Okay! Hello! Thank you so much for, thank you so much for being here. Um, hello! Thank you so much for coming along tonight. Thank you for spending spending uh, your evening or your morning or your afternoon um, with us for some music making. And hello if you're watching on Catch Up as well. Thank you so much for making the time to come along. Uh, Mysterious, good morning. I'm glad that you're having uh, a very warm morning. Uh, it is, it's a little bit chilly over here in Scotland, um, but uh, I, have a, I have a really nice warm hoodie on, which is, which is all good. Um, tonight's going to be a very calm stream. We're we're sort of we're sort of projecting an idea of calm, uh, as the piece we're going to be working on today is uh, calm. Has the title of Calm Waters, uh, as its um, piece number five or six. I can't quite remember. I should have checked that before I started the stream. Um, of the soundtrack for Upriver Downriver, um, which is an upcoming tabletop RPG by uh, by Ella Watts and Max Breyer. If you head on over to the chat, I will just pop a little link in there. So uh, that will take you to the Kickstarter and you can find out um, all the information about it. Uh, as part of uh, the Kickstarter, one of the stretch goals of the Kickstarter was a uh, an original soundtrack album um, made to be to be played to be played while the game is being played. And I've been working on that for the past month or so, past couple of months now, and uh, it's been a lot of fun, and I've I've been enjoying streaming the process. And so tonight we're going to be working on. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about the. Uh, I've I've finished mixing the the piece we were working on on Monday, the combat theme that's now done. Uh, well, I say done. Is a piece of music ever really done until until it absolutely has to be? Um, but uh, basically, I, I, I fixed it, I mixed it, moved some of the rhythms, or moved some of the pieces around because there were a couple of bits that were just slightly out of time. But that's now fixed. Uh, and then we're going to be working on a new piece. So I have I have the guitar set up, ready to go. Um, I, 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 I did tune the banjo about an hour ago. If it's still in tune, we will have the banjo again as well because I, I quite like the idea of the the sort of music. Um, that kind of accompanies you while you're actually on the river, when you're traveling down up or down the river. Um, I quite like the idea that that uh, that that's there to accompany you, and that it is, um, and that it kind of sticks more with the the piece of music that I came up with for the trailer, which features banjo and uh, guitar quite heavily. Uh, and I want to want to have more of that in because I I've, I've I'm very aware that when I've been um, when I've been making the music for world map music, yes, that is a very good way of putting it. Thank you. <laughs> um, when, because uh, when when I made the theme for the trailer, it was kind of thrown together. I, I kind of had the ideas of of uh, how I could take it further and, and do things with it, but I haven't. I haven't so far. I haven't really integrated any of that, any of the themes or motifs in that piece of music into the soundtrack at the moment. And I'm hoping to kind of change that tonight with the with the Calm Waters music. Um, but before we do that, I want to quickly, quickly take you through the combat theme. So this this is this is what we worked on on Monday. Uh, I've extended it. I've made it slightly longer. I've moved stuff around. Um, I've added in a couple of extra parts. And the kind of biggest thing is that I've, I've kind of mixed it a bit more. So the, the, the guitar parts are now, they now have a, a compressor running. They've got like, they've been given a full mix. They've been given a full thing. They've got quite a harsh compressor on them um, just because it's quite a percussive guitar part. So it just means that they just pop out just a little bit more. Um, and I also added, so what else did I add? I also added an extra lead part. Uh, I added an auto harp. So this, this, is, this is a free instrument. This is one of Spitfire Labs. Uh, Spitfire Labs is instruments, uh, free instruments, and it's an auto harp. And it added just a nice little, a nice little touch. A nice, uh, just added an extra touch to the melody, which I really liked. So I will play you what I worked on. Let me just, let me just pop that, pop the speech down, and stick my headphones on. Um, and uh, yeah, I will. I'll talk a little bit about what, what's what's been added. So first thing you'll notice is the guitar, a lot popping out a lot more than it did on. Uh, Oh, the whole thing's been mixed as well. Popping out more than it did on uh, Monday. Uh, is there a compressor on there? No. The percussive guitar is a little bit louder than it was before. Just to, again, it's got the compressor on it. And then you've got the auto heart.
I also changed the structure a little bit, um, which I'll explain in a minute. So I've kept the first the first melody shorter, and then you get when you get the repetition coming in, you've got bass parts, and now you've got the full kind of chord sequence as well. Twinkliness is kind of right. That's kind of what I was going for. It's just got that kind of immediate kind of plucking sound effect. like that arpeggio. Button. And I see, now you've got that little extra bit added on at the end. Which kind of builds it up to the final, the final kind of way through there. And also I made this bit a lot more percussive. Just to really... Lots of energy. Probably still do with a little bit of work, but I'm quite happy with it. There's a bit more panning on those extra melodies. So they're not too intrusive. There's not too much of a build. So that's the combat theme. That that is that is what I spent uh, my Tuesday morning uh, and after the stream a little bit on Monday as well, um, playing around with. And I'm I'm quite happy with how that's sounding. I, I think I was a little bit worried when I started putting it together because I it, um I didn't think the sort of there's just there's just a lot of guitar parts to have to try and mix. But once once I got everything properly mixed and balanced and everything, it sounded great. So that's our that's our combat theme. I'm, uh, just let's talk a little bit about the. Texture is kind of kind of what I was going for with with the auto harp. It is it is a really nice kind of sample, and there's some delay on there as well, just to add a little bit of extra, just to bounce it around a bit. Did I pan it? I don't think I did. Oh yes, I did. So there's a the piano the the piano is slightly on the left, um, and then the auto harp is slightly on the right. I think the piano probably needs to be a little bit louder. Um, because I think the auto harp is just, I think the piano is getting lost in the rest of the mix. Um, and then you've got, just to, I think that creates a bit more punch. Are they delayed as well? Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's the combat, that's the combat theme. Uh, I was very happy with how the stream went on Monday. Um, and now we move on to Calm Waters, which is an empty empty project file right now. Hopefully we'll fill it up with some nice music uh, very, very shortly. Uh, so first of all, let's get... What, what tempo do I want? It was a... I did have a specific... Uh, I do have an idea for this one to start off with, which which is good. Yeah, there we go. A nice calm 90. <laughs> I'm going to say the word calm a lot. Some of it's going to be deliberate. Some of it won't be. Some of it will be entirely accidental. It's sometimes it's a bit. Sometimes it's not. I mean, I even I've lost the ability to tell when when I'm doing a bit and when I'm not. Um, I will try my best to not overuse the word calm. Um, so we're going to start. This is going to this is going to be another uh, piece that we start on the guitar. And. Uh, we're going to start it on the guitar, and then we're going to kind of start building it up. It is mostly going to be. I'm going to try and keep it string based to a certain extent we are going to be also adding in some sound design as well we're going to be adding in some water sounds uh i to kind of just really hammer home that idea of calm waters i have uh, a lovely sound of let's see if i can find it real quick um of water and a boat like specifically waves on a boat 
So we'll drag in here. So this is a specifically waves against a boat, which I think is a really lovely sound. You've got these nice little kind of bassy, not bassy, but like just add a bit more character. It's a really lovely sound. So we'll be putting that in. Um, I'm muting that for now, just while I get while I get all this sorted. Um, okay, let's get this ready to go. I'm going to try and avoid doing the thing that I did last stream, where when I was using the other microphone, you got this weird echo effect. I have worked out how to turn that off. It does mean muting this microphone. Um, so there might be bits where the audio goes a bit weird. Um, but uh, but it just means you don't you don't get the weird audio you got on the last stream. So let's get let's get the guitar sorted, shall we? Now I am hoping, uh, I'm really really hoping that this has stayed in tune i don't know if i hope hopefully you can still hear me but there'll be a slight delay um let's... so here's 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 the idea that i currently have um Um, and then it means we can add in uh, underneath it, which is really cool, which would be really nice. Um, and then we can add some extra sound as well. Because I really like the, these kind of sounds. And I think just with the, the water sound as well, it's going to sound really nice. The only problem is, it's going to be keeping it in time. That's all part of the fun. Okay. Right. Let's. Oh. Really difficult. No. Right. Are they ready? Uh, the click track is too fast. <laughs> okay, let's slow. Okay. okay, let's slow that down just a little bit. Soothing is what we're going for, so I'm glad. I'm glad that that is that is working. Okay. Thank you. 
Yeah. Okay, so there'll be be a couple of things we just need to fix there, but that's that will not not take us too long. Let's get rid of that for a start. So let's have a listen. It's a bit on the quiet side. some kind of drones underneath just to highlight the bass notes. Slightly cleaner version of it. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Hi, Madis Martigan. That was a wonderful time for you to come in just as I bonked my head off the microphone it's going to be a very calm stream tonight we're working on calm rivers that's our that's our uh, that's our goal tonight uh i've just recorded the first guitar track uh i'm just fiddling around with it just now i'm going to do the 12 string trick just bump that up to bump that up a couple of octaves ghost violence <laughs> just <laughs> just just occasionally the microphone likes to let me know who's boss just occasionally just, 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 you know, sending a message. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is what it sounds like with the... It's a bit dry right now, but once I add a... Once reverb, that'll help. I think you could probably do... Will it work with delay? Let's find out. Let's get some reverb on this quickly just so we're not to work with some slightly dry sounding acoustic guitar. Uh, what do I want? Stick it in a studio reverb for the time being. At no receive guitar and guitar. We'll probably record like an extra part just doing the picking, just to really highlight those higher frequencies. Turn it down a bit. Because I know what I'm going to stick under it. Uh... Get our labs on the go. So I've, I use this on. Yeah, use. So this is going to be frozen strings. I've used these before on the soundtrack. Uh, I, they're they're one of my favorite textures. They're it's, they sound so nice. Um, let me just get this. I mean, obviously, when you when you actually play a chord with them, they sound nice. Um, Some lovely, 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 lovely texture. I uh, just need to remember what chord we're in. So we're going to be on C. There it is. So we'll, we'll move all this out of the way first. Just pump them back there. Thank you. 
fantastic. Just a good old, good old fashioned pad there. Um, I might make these, pan these up. Then. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a an extra track, just doing the just doing the diddle little little little, just because um, just to fill it out a bit. I just feel like it's sounding a bit dry right now more than anything. Um, but well, let's get that recorded. I'm gonna boost the input up a bit as well because it's coming through a bit quiet. Um, okay. Suddenly I'm getting visceral, mysterious says, suddenly I'm getting visceral flashback, flashbacks to the finger style struggle of left hand nails short, right hand nails long, but no, not that long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I haven't played for a while, my, my nails do tend to grow. Uh, and if, if I'm wearing, if I'm wearing nail polish as well, I, um, I forget how long my nails get. Like when I went back to playing bass um, for the first time in a while, just forget how short my fingernails need to be to play that properly, and on both hands. That's that's the dilemma. If I want to play guitar, I kind of have to. If I want to play bass, all my nails have to be short. Um, so it means I'm kind of playing, plucking with my fingers rather than my nails. Um, so you get a slightly slightly more, not quite as bright, sort of sharp sound. Uh, we're gonna call this the ostinato. Why not use a musical term today? Okay. Um, I'll head over to the guitar. I'll try that again. I'll head over to the guitar and get this sorted. That sounded pretty good. I mean, I missed missed the first cue, but that's fine. Generally, I might just put in the bass notes like separately, just to um, just to keep it neat more than anything else. We'll wait and see. Well, we'll just, just see how it goes. Right. Oops. Yeah, because you can hear a lot more of the notes there. Getting much more of the resonance there, which is lovely. We mute these for the time being, and then do the twelve string trick again. So all I'm doing there, I keep saying the twelve string trick. All I'm doing is I'm copying just exactly what I played, boosting it up by an octave, uh, and then panning, uh, panning the original guitar track to the left, and then the kind of boosted the 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 octave track. Um, to the right, just so you create a kind of a chorus effect. And turn it down as well. Just so it fills out the top frequencies a bit more.
yeah, I think I'll do the bass notes separately. Just because it means we're also not limited to um, to open strings I can play on the guitar. It, it gives us just a bit more harmonic space, let's call it. Uh, that over there. Oops. Probably have them. Probably give them more reverb. Actually, did delay fix that? Again, um, running them through. Actually, if I run them through. Hold on. I'm not sure if this will work, but we'll give it a go. If I run that through the program I had the. Use the same sound. Is that going to work? Or is that just going to sound really weird? Helps if you put it on the right track. Let's have a look. The compression's not, yeah. I mean, it's, it's very in your face now. I might, hang on. It's a lot more consistent, which I quite like. <laughs> Makes up for my slightly shoddy playing. Stick this in a larger. There it is. that extra reverb. I can still keep it a, lo a little bit quieter. Oh, why are you... Why have... Oh, I know what I've got. Change the tempo, that's why, okay. Nice, there's a nice extra. Gonna be using this for bass, I think, later on. We'll bring in some chords here. So, I'm gonna stick with the guitar for now. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna do something else. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, working on the wrong layer happens. Happens a lot. There'll be so many times where I'm going, why why doesn't this sound any different? Why why is it not sounding better? Why why like it feels like it's it's it, it sounds like it, it doesn't why is it not working? And then it's like, oh no, I know what I've done. I've 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 <laughs> I've been just working on the wrong track. Which can be disastrous sometimes. But luckily on Reaper, you can change um how many times you're allowed to undo. And I've just set it to like nine hundred. You know, so I could I could conceivably just keep hitting Control Z right back to the beginning if I wanted to. Um, luckily, I've not had to do that yet, but it only needs to happen once. Uh, what are we doing? Right. Let's. Well, that's going to need to come down first of all. Okay. You have served your time well. You're good.
Oh no, come on. Okay, hang on. Is that just me being silly with them? No, that's that's out of tune. Okay, hold on. Uh Let's see if it's the bass notes first. This is going to be a very interesting part of the stream where I try to tune this this thing. You're so out of tune, I tuned you an hour ago. <laughs> oh, a bit buzzy. Oh, don't do this to me. Oh. with stringed instruments or children, that's the rules. banjo part later i can do the banjo part off stream like otherwise i'll we'll be here for the next two hours when we're trying to tune a banjo and as much as i'm sure that there is a part of the internet where that is good content it is uh, i i do actually want to be making music so sorry about that everyone we will have to postpone banjo time for next next week or so <sighs> right well i can do the part on the guitar in the, for the in the meantime Oh, that's a pain. Anyway. I think it'll still... I think I'll, I'll probably end up doubling up on... Um, probably end up doubling up on... Uh, uh, on the guitar anyway, but... Yeah, okay. Also, my headphones are doing something really weird. I don't understand why it's all tangled. What a wonderful sound. What a wonderful in-tune sound. Let's get 
first of all, let's get this untangled. And then we'll get this working. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be using that riff that I just played. I'm going to be using that, but I'm going to be recording it over over these chords, over these over this little ostinato, just to give it a bit of chord movement. Um, and then we'll start adding synths and more strings and all the other sort of sexy bits. Not that not the guitar is not sexy, but you know, like stuff where I'm sitting down rather than having to run back and forth to places. Um, I was a bit quicker than I was expecting it to be, which uh, which kind of threw me off a little bit. I mean, it works. Which I really, which again wasn't really quite expecting. replace that get that fixed I made a mistake whoops I made another mistake there Still turning this is where we overlap with filmmakers and we forget to turn ripple editing off ripple editing very handy when you're doing a podcast edit it's not so much when you're making music okay let's just fade that over a little bit <laughs> Ripple editing is very useful ex until it suddenly isn't. That's sounding nice. That's that's sounding really really nice. That's something that I'll be fixed. We could do some interesting percuss percussion things with this, but I know we're kind of trying to project an, an, an idea of calm um, onto the thing. The tea I'm drinking, in case anyone is wondering, uh, is called A Moment of Calm. But it's funny because on the box and on the label, they uh, they have calm in really big letters. So it sounds like they're shouting the word calm at you. It's very it's very funny to me. But I've had a, a very caffeinated day, so I thought for the stream I'd... I'd Go on the go on the chill stuff. <laughs> Be calm or else, yeah. And then that is our that is our little loop. That is our main loop. Okay, let's get Let's get the grandmother again, and then we'll start doing some bass sounds. How are we doing? Oh, yeah, there we go. Lovely, lovely warm bass sounds. Let's see if we can...
Okay. going to keep the water sound in because I think it's that we have a full. Let's get our bass parts. Let's get the, the, the most exciting part of the stream done, which is, of course, the bass parts. Oops. Uh, helps if you arm the track first, though. That's a very important tip. Very, very important tip. Could just me be making excuses because I don't want to spend ages tuning tuning the banjo. bass part and then I think just due to the nature of it I think what we can do is we can again do the 12 string trick but just with a with a moog and then just have a nice kind of that should create a nice texture both need to be turned down So I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a thing. I'm gonna try a thing. Uh, I'm gonna keep these over here. I'm gonna keep these at a relatively. So I'm adjusting the panning just now. So I'm gonna have these over here. So the these lines here that I've that I've just brought up are the panning envelope. So uh, the panning envelope is basically where it sits in the stereo field. So uh, if it if it go right now, they're sitting at thirty percent left. Um, so they're they're slightly louder in the left headphone. But I'm gonna try and see what happens if I have and this one's at thirty percent right, so it's slightly lower. So up is left, down is right, in when it comes to doing these envelopes. I'll just zoom in a bit. So what I kind of want to do is have it so they kind of overlap each other. So they're kind of constantly moving away in and out. A little bit like waves, except it's, it's a guitar part. So... So for instance... So it's slowly going that way. Uh, 
30%. So keeping it at 30%, and then with this one, it's going to do the exact same thing, just going the other way. So if this one's going, you know, left to right, this one's going right to left. So they should cross over in the middle. Don't know how much you'll be able to hear this on stream. It's subtle, but it's... So you kind of get this this sort of kind of ethereal movement with the guitars. I wish I'd thought of it earlier because then I could have just implemented it in. And there is a way of doing this with a plugin, but I kind of want it. But doing it with automation and doing it with these envelopes, it just means that um, it's slightly more precise and it, the, 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 it's kind of going at the speed you want it to rather than having to work work with. Um, tempo signatures and, and 16th notes and note values and things. This way, it means that uh, this way means that it's it's reaching a certain point when I want it to uh, or when I need it to. Uh, so it means that each phrase is kind of one one movement. Um, it's just a case of getting that sorted. So hopefully, I only I only need to do this the once because then when I copy and paste it, it should copy the envelopes over as well. Ooh, that's exciting. But that's fun. Okay, uh, let's pop that there. Um. Yeah, so hopefully that should copy over when we when we copy and paste it. But yeah, so that's those are our panning envelopes. Uh, I'll play them in isolation just so you can maybe get an idea of what they sound like. If you don't, if you've got headphones on, that's probably the best way to. Probably, I don't know if it'll work. If it, if it's like enough. Uh, let's let's go a bit more extreme. Let's pop. So they're they're at thirty percent right now, but let's pop them up to. So I can't move them all at once. Can I do that? Can I lift them all at once? Yes, I can. Oh, excellent. Okay, cool. So now they're they're at fifty rather than thirty. I'll try that again. Try it with the right. Excellent. So it'll be slightly more um, slightly more pronounced, which is good. Yep, and then well, that needs to. I'll pop it down to 30 so I can get them all at once. Uh, down to 50. Are you still at... Oh, you're at 30. I didn't do it with these ones. Oh, whoops. Okay. I only did it with that one. Oh, that's silly. Right. Right, that should be slightly more... Slightly more noticeable now. Yeah. Again, once that's been properly mixed, it should it should be slightly more in your face. I need to come up with something maybe to go on top of it. Some piano on the go, maybe. Like, I don't want to. Hmm. Could actually. Could do some percussion. But, like.
confuse the strings there for a second. Add something. Stick with the grandmother and maybe add something, something a bit extra. Let's. Uh, I'm, thank you, thank you so much for coming along, and, and I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. I'm glad you're finding it relaxing. This is um, going for a more chilled, chilled atmosphere, and calm is very much what we're going for. So I'm glad that it's relaxing. I'm glad that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. That's 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 always wonderful to hear. Um, okay, let's see what extra synth, extra synthy stuff we can throw on here. on the go. Let me get that. Get that. Okay. Let's record that, and then we'll, we'll we'll see what comes out of that. Moog bass, say Moog high bass, and then we'll call this Moog lead. Probably might double, double this up, up on, on the, the might double that up on the piano, but we will see how it goes. All right, and then I'll turn the mic off so you can only hear the synth part as it's coming through. Reaper. Sorry, I forgot my mic was off. Um, that sounds good. It's quite low in the mix. There's a piano as well.
sure how that's sounding. Can we do the can we do the, the octave trick with this as well? Ooh, I think we can. Uh, e. Gabrielle asks, do you have an idea in how you want things to sound, like having things written out, or is it just making it up as you go? I'm, I don't write anything down, ever, which is a problem. <laughs> um, usually, the, the way I kind of work is that I'll have an idea for something. It'll usually be either some chords, um, or it'll be like a little, a little like frag melody, melodic fragment, or, or something along those lines. Um, it's very rare for me to write something down before I and mean, the closest i get is i'll record something on my phone or i'll record something on my little recorder depending on where i am like a little sketch uh but no i don't i don't tend to to write stuff i tend to just improvise see what works um see what doesn't work and then kind of go from there for something like this for a soundtrack uh it's it's a slightly different issue oh, it's, it's not an issue it's a slightly different way of working because um because it's a full soundtrack there are certain melodies and there are certain keys and there are certain ideas and certain rhythms that um that are repeated throughout so i'm kind of going in with an idea of well i know what the main melody what i kind of know what some of the main melodies are i can use those as a starting point i know roughly what key everything's been in so far i know what chord sequences have been used so far so i can use those as a jumping off point as well um but uh but for the most part uh it tends to if i'm just coming up with a piece of music straight from scratch uh i'll just mess around with some chords usually on the piano okay sometimes on the guitar and then kind of come up with something like that but yeah when i when i decided to do the tower piano book um i had a lot of trouble because i i suddenly had to write things down in musical notation which i hadn't done for anything before which proved to be quite quite tricky in certain in some some instances um but uh, yeah, I, I very much come from improvising and uh, learning how to do, st learning how to make music that way rather than kind of knowing how to orchestrate stuff. I do know how to do that. I just I don't. It's not how I naturally make music. Um, okay, where are we at? Where how are we doing? Uh, about an hour into the stream. Let's, why don't we slow it down slightly? This might... Okay, well that at least needs to be... No, that's... No, 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 no. 85. Well, slowing it down might make it interesting, make it slightly... Because part of me still thinks that's maybe too fast. There we go. I think I got it. I think I know how what we're going to do on the piano. So, um, calm waters. It's quite reflective. Uh, so right now we have two main melodies for the for the uh, for like the end points. So you've got the 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 C, which is um, and then we also have uh, the source, which uh, is more of a And I reckon we can put both of those in here. Um, I'm gonna, I think we'll bring those in when that comes in. So let's, let's go with that. Mess that up a bit. Okay, 
Okay, I'll try that again, but actually get the parts right this time. Yes. Give myself a bit more, a bit more time before I come in. Yes. That's nice. That's that's good. I, I like that. And I think I'll probably add we double that up on on this. Just so this is this is my second mega drive. Um it has a really lovely basic sign sound that I really like. just really helps fill out piano parts. Like an organ or like a just something to fill out the chords just a little bit, you know. that's causing it to ah uh, okay let's try something let's get rid of the second one Very fiddly. Hmm, that's really good because it means I can have. Hmm, right. Sorry, I'm in thinky mode now. Oh, yes! Oh! Oh, that sounds so good! Oh! I mean, it, it needs cleaning up, but... Call and response! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh! Oh, that sounds so good. Right, okay. Um, right, mm, professional. Professional musician. Chill. That's no big deal. Call and response is just, that's just normal part of being a musician. That's, that's cool, it's no big deal. It's just, just part of the process, all part of the fun. That's cool, I totally, totally meant to do that. I totally just wasn't playing around and then it worked. I know what I'm doing. I'm like, this, this is what I do. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh, let me just quickly fix everything. <laughs> uh, is that right? I just need to catch the... There's a couple of stray notes I mean to... And they're panned as well! That's stereo... Oh, yeah, hang on. Oh, 
Oh, that's just, that's so tasty. Oh. Oh, and then you've got the other one coming in. Okay, yeah, I need to go back and, and just quite just quickly edit all of these little these these shortcuts. Oh, it sounds so good. I'm so happy with how that sounds. I love it when stuff like this happens. You just you just move something over and it just works. Oh, I love these moments. Come up with some other. Actually, I know what I'm gonna do. So I think I'm going to, first of all, copy this and then load up my good friend, the electric, electric whirly. If you thought, if you thought you were going to not have a stream with the wallet, so you were, you were dead wrong. That's, and then, so there's one I have called choked up and it's, it's, it's my favorite, um, sound on the world. It's, it's the one that I use on the, f for everything in the tower. I might bring it down an octave just to fill that out a bit. See what that sounds like. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh. Need something to fill out the space just a little bit more. A little bit like what the strings, the frozen strings are doing, but they're just not quite loud enough. See, I do have a really lo well. Mm, there's two ways we can go about this. Like I was thinking, we could maybe use maybe use the the mellotron, but the mellotron's quite dramatic, and I think it's maybe a little bit too much. So let's play around with some sounds. We'll see what we can see what we can find. So this is a. quite a nice just to see if it filled I like it. I think we. I like the movement. I think we can maybe do with a different sound. Definitely not that. <laughs> that's, that's, it's a bit of a cheesy, cheesy sort of synthy sound. Uh, 
might use an, a better organ preset than this, but this, this might work. I could use strings as well. Ooh, could use the reed organ. Uh, contact. So I have I have a lovely uh, organ instrument. I've, I've think I, I can't remember if I've used it on stream or not. So this is a, a reed organ. So the way it works, the, the way reed organs work, I love them. Like I've, I played one once and it was my favorite thing. Um, so they're, they're very small organs, but you, you operate them, you operate the bellows with your feet. So uh, the, it means they're like portable, old, very, very old portable organs. So if I'm playing a, you can sort of if I turn everything off. You can sort of hear like the pedals very quietly which is, a, which is a wonderful recreation of one um. let's turn everything off and then start from the beginning Sorry, Twitch is being funny. Stick that low in the mix. I reckon that could sound quite nice. Let's, let's have a play. Maybe add some, it's like some string parts later. Bring it in a little earlier, actually. Hang on. down just a little bit okay and then bump this back, back up to zero and then we'll hit record there it is ah, there we go. probably still turn this down as well Of, a couple of bum notes, but we can sort that out really easily. Especially since I got that last chord wrong. Okay. So that's... Uh, if that scraping noise you can hear is my cat using the litter tray. <laughs> Do not be alarmed.
<laughs> Poppy arranging the Zen garden. <laughs> I like that a lot. Yeah, just put, puts her kimono on and gets a rake. And, I mean, honestly, maybe like I, I, I don't, I don't watch. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't make a point of not, not observing her when she's pooping. Ugh. Fell down a hole there. Okay. Um. What happens if I put these through the intimate strings? Structure. We need some structure. Um, I could probably add. I'm gonna try something. Let's add a flute. A flute. Stick a flute. Just to just to kind of highlight. Um. Just to sort of specifically highlight uh, the kind of movement of the 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 these kind of the organ instruments down here. to do though before I do anything else. Because it's meant to be calm, I think we can take a bit longer just to get places, you know? Like, I think we can have this bit go on a bit longer um, before we bring in extra parts.
could maybe do something in the bottom end, so like kind of lower down. Or just, just making this louder. add this in I have an idea of something I want to do next uh, just something that I think will just add I've got a couple of bells and things that I think would work really really nice just to create a nice just to really emphasize that like create a bit more rhythm and a bit more movement but at the same time kind of keeping things a bit more chill but first let's get this oboe, let's get this oboe part recorded This will be a lot quieter. Good stuff. That's the obobobo. Um, obo 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 obo. Uh, Let's pan this. Just a little bit of panning. Just a little bit of pan. I probably pan these quite far out actually, just so they're. Um, just so they're a bit more out of the middle. That's nice. That's nice. I like how quiet this piece is. Like, it's just a nice sense of quiet. So we've, okay, let me just quickly reorganize these um, before I do anything else. So what do we got? We got, so that's all guitar, that's fine, keep those there, and then, so you've got your leads, do you have any old leads? No, that's all texture, so the leads can be... That. I know I'm getting the colors in the wrong order, but uh, and then these this this piece is all texture and not much else. Uh, okay, how are we doing? Right, where how are we doing for time? Okay, cool. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add in some extra extra elements, starting with so we we use this. When we did, when we made the source, it was a tubular bell. So does that count as chromatic percussion? Tubular bell. There we go. And tubular bells. Um, just because I think they have a nice. I mean, they sound a bit like a doorbell. Oh, someone's at the door. Um, but uh, if you run them through some reverb, which I'm trying to do, just not clicking on the right thing. Add new sound to the river. That should just yeah, <laughs> pizza's here. Um... Uh. Really 
just having that really quiet in the mix just adds a nice... I need to just get the cue right. the wrong note. Can I can I not go lower with this? What, what notes do I what notes do I have available here? Is that the lowest I've got? Yeah, okay, cool. All we need to do okay uh da, 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 da. yep turn it down right in the mix and then when it's got the reverb on it quite quiet in the mix but actually i know what uh, so we need to give it its own reverb that's what we'll do so we'll take off that one um we will add a some really big big cathedral reverb and just put that down to 50 so now it sounds So the other thing I want to do. I can find it. Tambourine. I can kind of just that. Just adding, and ha again, have it really low in the mix. Have it with. Um, have it with a lot of reverb um there's another sound that we can use later on that to kind of augment it uh but for the time being let's just get this get these pasted in just so they're here uh so this will be input one so i'll just Okay, so there'll be a slight delay between the video and the thing, but that's because it's coming through Reaper rather than um, rather than directly through OBS. Okay, so let's give it a go. Uh, it needs to be a lot quieter than that. Tambourines are really weird to record because they, they sort of are surprisingly loud and microphones really don't like them. Um Right, uh, I should probably turn the microphone on. So I'm going to load it through a hall. Let's just see what that sounds like. How about a church?
this probably could do with a bit more a bit more fiddling around with but I quite like the sound for this. This is going to be a sample rather than uh, rather than anything I'm recording. Uh, use our Earthbound sound pack. Just need to find it. Um, I'm trying to remember where it was. I used it on something recently, and I've forgotten what. It... Tom's kick, brush, snare, onet snare, ride hat. No, must be in here. Uh, For like a shaker, I think. I might actually be here. Because they sort of put things in. Bicycle bell. Oh, we're getting close. Jingle bells. That's what we're looking for. Stay with me. Stay with me on this one. Okay. Uh, so... <laughs> No. Nope. Mm. So look. those together you get a really nice really nice little rhythm that I'll just record just now and then that's also coming excuse me that's now coming through the same reverb as the tambourine uh, so right away you're getting... Oh no, have I done that? He's gonna get... No, I haven't. Okay. Okay, let's... Okay. Let's 
see what that sounds like. There we go, that's nice. Start with whoops. I have to start with the percussion. What do we think? keep that because I quite like that. I'm going to move that there. So then um, Oh, this is going to be another one of those situations, isn't it? Hang on. <laughs> I think we're going to do it again. It's, ta it's taking out every second thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a lot nicer. Okay. <laughs> um, well, hang on. Let's swap these around. You're just out of tune. You're just straight out out of rhythm. Yep, yep. This this evening has been an exercise in. Uh, why don't we just slow it down a bit by taking some stuff out? That's which is good. It's good. It's very good. Um. It's just quite funny. Uh, whoops. Oh. Oh, are you out of time? Oh no, that's I wonder what you're Close it out there. 
I think everything else gets to go now. Is that right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> At it again. Uh, okay. Oh, whoops. What was that right? Let's get these all in place. So now it sounds like this. Basically, yeah, this is Fafik Rath plan again. Are too much. Right, let's do another repeat of that last bit and then we can then we can do an outro. Oh no! I think ending's gonna be nice and easy. could maybe do with slightly more string cards. Maybe. Hmm. And obviously I'll add extra stuff in there as well. do something about this. This is... Just to fill out the space a bit more because it's it's very, very obvious those samples are cutting off.
take that out there. A little bit of ghost in the shell at the end. There we go, I think we might. I think that might be us, pretty much bang on two hours again. Like, let's have a listen, see where we're at, and then we can maybe add some extra stuff in. Um, but that's, that's, that's pretty good for two hours, I think. I don't know, do we put the tubular bell do we put the, the bell in at the start, do you reckon, or just keep it on the as the percussion? I think it's I think it's confusing having the percussion come in before the strings. That's better, that just sets up the rhythm slightly better than what was there before. Guitars up here are too intrusive or not loud enough. I don't know if it works better without the ostinato, the, the, the guitar bit. option is always we bring them in later so maybe bring them in the timing will be sorted out like
problem as well is that it's, um, it's creating a bit of space so you can kind of tell these cut off. it coming in coming in there and then it means it can um, it can stay on at the end fading out. Excellent. That's it. I good. Yeah, I think we're I think we've got it. I think we're done. Let's have a listen and see. There's still some bits of tweaks and stuff that need to get done, but Like, this piece is, like, it's gone in a completely different direction to, to like, how I thought it, where I thought it was going to go. Uh, I really didn't think it was going to... Didn't think it was going to end up sounding like this. I thought it was going to be a much more... Not quieter, but, but like, I don't know, more um, acoustic than this ended up sounding. Might be another part of the soundtrack. Because one of the other ones I have to do is a, a, a track for when you're communi communing, communing with the river, and this this could fit that I reckon.
could work as the communion track. Because it, it ties in really nicely with the source, it ties in really nicely with the C, it also ties in with the, the kind of the initial theme that I made, which I'm kind of calling the river theme. So it's kind of it's kind of all there. I think this is a communion theme. I don't think this is calm voices at all. Yeah, I think this is... I think we've ended up with a completely different track to the one we set out to make. Which I really like. That makes me very happy. And I thought the community track was going to sound really different, different from this as well. It's like a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I think I'll need to run this past. Uh, I think I'll need to run this past uh, Ella and Max and MacGuffin and see what they think because I genuinely don't know. I think it could work for both. Uh, I think potentially even for communion, I might genuinely just do a cut down. And just have this. So you've just got the. to need to speak to the team but uh, yeah I think I think I'm gonna call it there I think that's that's uh, that's the track um, so yeah th thank you very much for, for coming along to the stream tonight thank you very much for sticking around well done if you made it all the way to the end um, we're pr I'm probably gonna be working on this uh, next week as well and um, if you're new here we stream on Mondays and Wednesdays uh, I do have a cool thing next week, though. Uh, on sometime next week, uh, I want to show you some music that I made for a new audio drama that's coming up. That will be released. The first episode will be released on Sunday, and it's a new BBC Doctor Who audio drama. And I was asked to do the music for it, and um, I want to uh, open up the project file and kind of talk about the music. Um, sometime next week. I haven't quite worked out whether it's going to be the Monday stream or the Wednesday stream. Um, but either way, uh, one of those one of those days we'll be back here working on Up River, Down River. Um, so thank you very much for coming along. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. I hope it is fantastic. Um, thank you so much for coming along. It means so much that people come along to these streams um, to, to, to watch me work effectively. Um, whether you're starting your day or whether you're ending your day, I hope you have a fantastic time. Uh, I'm glad glad I could set you up some lovely morning morning river vibes. Uh, I I hope I hope they they set you on your journey across. Uh, hope you there. Hope they set you across your journey today, and I hope you I hope hope you have a have a good Wednesday Thursday. I don't really know what what time it is anywhere. Either way, thank you very much. Please come along next week. Please follow if you if you don't already and you've enjoyed this. Uh, my name is David Devereaux, and uh, I hope you have a fantastic.